Hi, if you've ever heard about embedding content and its learning and want to learn more about that, then this is the video for you. My name is Carrie Martinez. I'm an EdTech coach in the San Bernardino City Unified School District. And in this EdTech Minute, I am going to talk to you about why you might want to embed content, what kinds of content you can embed, and how you would go about doing that. So let's get started. Let's first talk about why you might want to embed content within its learning. And the primary benefit of doing that is so that your users don't have to leave the platform to access outside content. On this screen, you'll notice that I have some text and then I also have a link to a video. And if you click on this link, it takes you out of its learning and into YouTube, which is not really ideal because over on the right hand side are all kinds of other distracting content. A better option would be to have the video embedded right here within its learning without all of those distracting other videos on the side. So that's the primary reason why you would want to embed content within its learning. Now let's talk a little bit more about what kinds of things you can embed. So I already mentioned video, but you can also embed other interactive content like Google Maps or ThingLink images or Symbaloo web mixes or Padlets. I'm going to show you briefly what that process looks like for each one of those. And then I'll wrap up by showing you a different option you can use to embed entire websites or content like Nearpod presentations. I'm going to start off by showing you how to embed a video. I think embedding videos from Vimeo or YouTube is actually one of the easiest things to embed within its learning. Before I get started in that though, uh, let's talk about where you can embed content. So this resource that I'm on right here is a folder and I can tell it's a folder because there's this little folder icon up here in the top. Um, I can also embed content in notes or pages, which is the it's learning equivalent to a uh, web page. I can embed them in assignments, in tests, in um, discussions, basically anywhere I see the it's learning rich text editor window. Now this is a rich text editor window and I can tell that because I get all these icons across the window that allow me to manipulate the font size, the style, the color, the alignment, add hyperlinks, tables, images, and so on. Anywhere I see this kind of window, I am able to embed content. So what I'm gonna do here is take out this hyperlink and instead embed the actual video right here on the It's Learning page to show you how that works. So I'm gonna come in here and then to embed the video, let's say I want it to appear right down here. Um, I first need to grab the URL of the video that I want to embed and that is this one. So I can just quickly copy that URL from YouTube, come back to its learning. And then from here, I'm gonna click this icon. It's a circle with these kind of brackets and a slash in it. If you mouse over it, hover over it, you it'll tell you that this is the embed icon. So for YouTube and Vimeo videos, this is the easiest way to embed them is to use this embed tool. So I'm gonna click that. And when this little pop-up window appears, I'm just gonna paste that URL in this box that I just grabbed from YouTube. And I can tell it's worked because this little screenshot of the YouTube video appears down here. Once that video shows up, I'm just going to click insert. And then I'll get this gray box that says something about my embedded content. I can't see the video right here, but this gray box tells me that it's ready to save. And that I, if once I click the save button, then the video will show up on my page or root folder or discussion or wherever it is that I've embedded this content. Now next I'm going to show you how you can embed other kinds of resources like Google Maps or ThingLinks or Padlets. And for those kinds of resources we're not going to use the embed tool we are actually going to use an embed code, which is um, HTML code that's provided by the other resource. So for example, 
let's say I want to embed this map of the Central Valley into my course. Typically, I'm going to find embed codes through the share function on the resource. And the share function is usually indicated by an icon that looks like this, with kind of looks like an open mouth with three dots. Or it can also look like an arrow. If I actually go back to my YouTube example next to share, I see this kind of arrow. Sometimes it looks like a paper airplane. If you're looking at a Vimeo video, it'll uh, their share icon looks kind of like a paper airplane. But you're looking for the share function. And then if I click on it, go back to my Google Maps option. If I click on the share icon, I get another little window that pops up. And remember, I'm looking for an embed code. So usually I'm looking for the word embed somewhere on here. And if I see this embed a map, when I click on that, then I will get an embed code. Sometimes the resource will actually say, here's the embed code. Sometimes it'll start with this iframe term and bracket. And what I need to do is grab or copy the entire embed code. And on Google Maps, they make it super easy by just clicking copy HTML. So I've grabbed the embed code and then I'm going to go back to its learning. And instead of using the embed tool, I'm going to click on source because I'm going to go into source code mode. And this is where I actually will see um, the HTML code or the programming language code for this particular resource. So all I'm going to do is come anywhere on here and just paste that iframe embed code. It looks like a bunch of gobbledygook. If I click source again to get out of source code mode and go back to preview mode, I get this kind of box that says iframe. I can't see the map yet. It's kind of like when I embedded the, the YouTube video, I couldn't see it until I click save. And then bam, there's my map. So pretty cool. So let's repeat that process with a different kind of resource. Um, I'm, I'm in preview mode here. I'm going to just hit return a couple of times to go below my map. And then I'm going to want, I'm going to try and embed a Symbaloo web mix. So I have this web mix about all related to food. Again, I'm looking for share because I want to find that embed code. So here's share. Here's that arrow. When I click on share, I'm still looking for the embed code option. So sometimes you have to hunt around a little bit. Here's some more, something else that tells me about sharing and then oh here is this iframe code i recognize iframe so i know that that is an embed code so i'm just gonna copy that entire gobbledygook iframe code i'm going to come back to its learning remember i have to paste the embed code in source code mode so i click on source to go back to the HTML code, I'm going to come to the bottom of it because that's where I want to paste it. There, I'm going to paste in my embed code. I can click on source again to see, oh, that's where it's going to go. Once I click save, then I'll be able to see there's the map I embedded and there's the Symbaloo web mix I embedded. Okay, last example I'm going to show you is a Padlet. Okay, I'm going to go here to the bottom. Here's my Padlet that I want to embed. I'm again looking for sharing, looking for an embed code. So here's their sharing option. On Padlet, it, here I've got this share export embed. That's what I want. And then here it actually says embed in your blogger website. And this gives me a whole mess of gobbledygook code. And this actually doesn't say iframe. It starts with a div code. But I'm just going to copy that entire gobbledygook of code. Come back to its learning. Click on source to go into source code mode. Paste it where I want it. Click save. And there are all of my embedded options.
The third and final way I'm going to show you how to embed content is actually not through the rich text editor window. This one is through another It's Learning resource that's called the link. So if I go to add a separate resource, I'm going to use the link tool instead. Now this one I can only embed one thing per link, but let's say I want to embed um, a, an actual website. So I want to embed this website. I'm going to grab the URL. I'm going to come back to its learning, paste that in here. Now when I paste that in, I get this box that's automatically checked that says embed page within its learning. If I click save, then I will be able to actually see that web page right here and scroll through and interact with it with, within its learning. Now one caveat for this, this only works for web pages that have HTTPS in the URL. It will not work for just HTTP websites. Okay, I know that was a lot. So let's do a quick recap of the three ways I shared to embed different kinds of content within its learning. To embed a video from YouTube or Vimeo, I am going to use the embed tool within the rich text editor window. I'm just going to paste the URL of the video right there, and then I'm going to click save and that will allow me to embed that video. For other kinds of interactive resources like Google Maps or Symbaloo web mixes, thing links, Padlets, um, if you have resources that will provide you with an embed code, then you can grab that embed code, which typically starts with iframe, copy it, come back into its learning into the rich text editor window and use the source code mode to paste that entire gobbledygook embed code there, click save, and then that will embed those kinds of resources. The third option was not using the rich text editor window, but was actually using the link tool to embed an entire website. I hope you found those tips helpful. Feel free to go back and review any of the options if you need to. I know especially that embed code, source code option can be a little wonky, can be a little confusing. So playing it a few times might help. Uh, also feel free to grab the quick reference guide that I've posted down below. And if you have any further questions about embedding, just drop us a line. It's learning at sbcusd.com. We are here to help. So. Uh, see you later.